a City News investigation into the unregulated, unlicensed and illegal sex spas that are practically overrunning our city. Now you may be surprised to find out that the city actually licenses body rub parlors. There are 25 of those operating within the City of Toronto. But there are hundreds more operating under the radar and operating as so-called holistic centres. We have a lot of problems with holistic centres, but the city assumes people are innocent until proven guilty. There's so many that it interferes with the whole reputation of the industry. Angela, we've concealed her identity for her family's privacy, owns two licensed and legal body rub parlours. Places where body rubbers massage and manipulate bodies to appeal to their sexual appetites. A body rub parlour is licensed by the city. It's the license fee is 12,000 and change per year. We have to, our attendants have to be medically cleared, police cleared, and we have to be a certain distance away from residential areas, a certain distance away from schools, a certain distance away from other massage parlors. Rules that don't apply to the more than 400 licensed holistic centers, some of which claim to offer reflexology, aromatherapy, or shiatsu, but in reality are underground sex spas. Holistic centers, because they're not considered a body rub, they don't get treated with the same intensity. They're not inspected as much. They're, we get focused on more because of our industry. Even though they aren't licensed to be body rub parlors, these holistic centers are inspected for the services they claim to offer. And last year, almost 200 charges were laid, including nudity and performing prohibited services. And it's very difficult because people go behind closed doors. They may be close to a school. They may be close to a church. They may be close to my house, but they don't uh, walk outside on the sidewalk dancing and, and jumping about. The city recognized three years ago there was a problem with these underground sex spas. A report was ordered, but it hasn't been completed yet. I think we may re-examine it, but I don't think anything's going to change. Which means that holistic centers like these, whether offering shiatsu massage or sexual services, will continue to open up in largely residential areas, unfettered with very few protections. On the Queensway, Christina Howard, City News.